good morning everyone so we are all here to take our as usual english literature class as all of you know it very well that in my previous class i had already started a new chapter with you a new topic that it was shobira same chapter today we are going to learn page number 45 everyone please be attentive and listen it carefully i would compete wearing old battered spikes since i couldn't afford a new pair here the narrator is going to compete with her opponent who is very strong you know and she doesn't have a very new pair of spikes too she is going to wear that those old pair of spikes isn't it the shoes which generally the athletes wear at the time of running i would wear my old spike and i would win that is he was very confident that by wearing the old spikes too that he was going to win this race dear god i had to win on your marks the starters arm went up the whole school ground went deathly quiet in this way the starter pronounce he makes the sound on your mark and the entire audience the entire ground remains deathly silence i crouched down behind the starting line i tried not to look over to my right but my eye caught the dark arm that had tensed ready for action so in this way the narrator was also very ready to get to start the race and he was i'm sorry she was very focused she was very much now uh, alert in order to get a very good start so that she could win the race and at that moment she tried not to look anywhere her look was her uh, view was her notice was right in front and just at the moment she happens to notice that dark arm who's it was i think it was suvira sam about whom she was bit nervous because she had heard that the girl was really very talented for this particular event of 800 meter race you know so she was popular she had won many times that is why today she was feeling bit nervous the narrator was feeling so get set i looked up then every sense mentality circling lane 3 and fixing on the finish line i was going to get there first but the narrator too was not the less she also was very confident sure and certain that she was also going to give a very good competition and finally she was very hopeful that she was also going to win the race and get there first ahead of everyone else everyone including shubhira mathur my right leg was extended way back my shoulders spoiled forward the tips of my fingers resting on the red track ready for take off in this way a very proper position that now the narrator as well as the other at least athletes are going to make whenever any such type of racing events are held when the calls are made like on the mark get set then everyone gets ready by giving a certain very uh, suitable posture of the body so that it can be very suitable and audible enough for them to make their start very good the same thing it happens here even subira mathur was also now getting ready to get off for the race you know at the same time the narrator too was now ready for a take off go the starter's gun went off and i was out of my blocks almost immediately racing away in this way as soon as the go signal was met so now the narrator and the all the athletes were now found to be very busy to be racing ahead towards to their finishing point and they were now very fast and on their tracks to have a very good race there was no one on my left and more importantly there was no one on my right so this is what situation children nobody see finds towards to her left and towards to her right too i was ahead and spiriting away the roar of the crowd was deafening she was well ahead at the moment and the crowd 
all the crowd those were present there the audience they were making a very huge sound and they were making such sounds which were making almost anyone to feel as deafening sound i was thinking of nothing now flying free released then my ears began to register a throbbing sound at the moment the narrator was not thinking anyway anything because she was right at the moment focused for her event the race only that is why she was now looking forward only to complete the race with a very good finishing i frowned slightly as the single voice of the crowd's chant became clear the voice began to increase more and more the sound began to increase more and more the roaring sounds of the crowd at the moment the narrator was able to listen the only one particular sound which the audience were making and which was very clear to her ear subira subira and subira there wasn't a single voice chanting my name everybody shouted subira come on subira everybody were supporting to subira only and she didn't hear not a single time her own name they didn't even know my name or who i was it was quite very clear as she was a new person here nobody knew her name and nobody was familiar with her that is why nobody were making any kind of such cheering sounds in that particular moment when such event was going on so this was the situation children you see to me it seemed as if the whole school the whole of the delhi the whole of india the whole of the world was chanting that one name this was the condition she sense she was sensing as if the and not only that entire school compound but also the entire region the whole of the delhi the whole of the school the whole of india as well as the whole of the world as if she feels the entire world were supporting and chanting the names of whom shubhida this is what the narrator feel the chant was rising to a crescendo and i knew why i could hear the drum beat of the feet as they pounded down lane four in hot pursuit in this way she feels as if now everybody were found to be chanting and praising and supporting to subira only at that moment she feels quite very much upset that maybe uh, subira is the favorite of all maybe the subira is very popular in that crowd that is what she also doesn't have that much of the feeling of grief at this moment because she also console herself that being a new person here it's quite natural so that is why she doesn't have that much of the feeling of regret too so this is what we come to learn here children in this few paragraphs in this page number 45 now let us move towards to the next paragraph children i knew she was closing in on me the narrator was able to sense that subira was coming more and more closer towards to her i knew that i had got away too early at the start i hadn't paced myself correctly her pace her speed was not correct at the moment when it was the starting of the race we were approaching the 400 meter mark that means almost they had now managed to reach midway of the race that is 400 mark the crowd went crazy as subira closed the gap between us in this way as it is already told that the whole crowd were applauding cheering to subira when the distance was made much more closer by subira with the narrator the crowd became more and more crazy and started to cheer a lot this is what who was able to sense this was narrator was able to sense at this moment we were running shoulder to shoulder and it was eyeing the other to see who made the first move in this way at this time both of them were running shoulder to shoulder in distance and were gazing to each other through the corner of their eyes that who would make the next move or gain the speed this is what the situation it was slow down slow down i told myself i started slowing down very imperceptibly it's an old track in racing you cut back on pace and your opponent to takes the pressure of herself so this is how she tries to control herself she tries to make a very brilliant 
approached by himself herself that how she could manage to keep a very good uh, lead and how she could give a very good tough competition to her opponent every possible way that she was trying her level best in order to make herself very convenient enough here in this particular race of and 800 meter which was going on and the dump and the competition was really very very tough but even though she was facing a very tough situation but she did not lose her hopes instead she kept on her spirits very high and gave a very good competition to subida she did it walked a bit but with a widely enthusiastic crowd eging her on and just 300 meters to go it was just now 300 meters remaining to get finished she began pulling away she was in front now and i had lost the lead that i had maintained for the first half the first half of the race was maintained by the narrator but now she was able to notice that she was making a subira was making a very good lead at the moment that the narrator was able to re realize it very well i hung on through i'm sorry i hung on though hanging on to her tail like a worrying dog i just lay back a bit catch my breath refuel uh, fuel myself and give it my best shot even though she was feeling at that moment that she is left behind but still she did not lose her hope she did her best she tried her best in order to make a competition with subira and she was doing her every possible nerve she was turning now here at the moment in order to make herself very competitive with subira so that she could also manage to remain in the race and finally also hopeful to win the race my gaze traveled down her legs as they as they pumped their way towards the finish line i think it was then that i saw her shoes finally and ultimately she manages to go ahead with her every possible pace and then finally it she she happens to notice towards to the legs legs of subira and what does she notice when she notice uh, when she looks towards to the next she notices that it that i think it was then that i saw her shoes she happens to see the shoes which subira was wearing brand new ones and these shoes were very brand new shoes which she was not at the moment wearing she was wearing very old and worn out type of shoes which she was wearing with glistening sharp spikes that sprang forward and the shoes which subira was wearing was undoubtedly it was very new and then with new shoes there were new sharp spikes with it which was giving her much more grip on the ground to have a very good speedy pace to go ahead and forward ahead to keep to make a good lead and and manage to win the race so this is a kind of difference that she was here able to realize between herself and subira regarding the shoes which they were wearing okay bit into the track and then sprang forward again like a wild untamable animal i tried not to think about those spikes but here even though she was able to realize it that the type of shoes which subira was wearing a very brand new with very sharp spikes on it but she thought that never mind regarding the shoes at all i tried not to think about those shoes spikes i concentrated instead on my own instead of minding those new brand new shoes of subira she just concentrated on her own race and kept her eyes sharp and very steady right in front in order to go ahead very smoothly and manage to go ahead and lead the race and finally win the race this is a type of spirit that the narrator manages to keep with herself mine were old and blunted though use the shoes which she was wearing were very old blunted spikes but also it were very useful but they had experience but the shoes were really experienced shoes means several races that she had taken apart or participated by wearing this particular shoes and yet my old spikes were used to winning surely my good old spikes had some hunger left in them yet and the shoes which she was wearing were really very much experienced shoes and more and more races that she had been able to win in the earlier times by wearing this particular shoes itself and now also she thinks and she believes that 
the shoes were really very hungry to win more and more this type of races so this is what we come to learn here children in this particular page of this chapter and we have completed the paragraph 2 so for today we are going to stop the class here itself so we will be continuing our remaining part of the chapter in our next class keep on following and taking interest in the chapter because the chapter is very interesting if you follow them well if you listen them well you will be able to understand and would be very easy for you to write your test whenever it will be held so this much for today so we'll stop it here thank you so much